Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. So today I am going to be giving you guys a DIY tutorial, so to speak. Um, I have this beautiful white lamp here and I just want to add some pizzazz to it. I just want to give it, you know, just a little bit of love and some contrast and just some richness. So I do have a piece of fabric that I purchased from Walmart and I am going to attempt to make <laughs> a lampshade cover for it. It's my first time doing this. I've never done this before. So if this is your first time, we can do it together and hopefully that it, it'll turn out right. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and get into this video. But first things first, if it's your first time here, hello, welcome. My name is Shoshana. On my channel, I do lots of home decor, seasonal decorating, homemaking, cleaning, uh, motivation, that type of thing. If you're interested in that, I would love for you to consider subscribing and becoming a part of our family here. Um, definitely double tap that bell for new notifications, like, share the videos, and definitely comment down below because we love chatting it up in the comment section. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video, you guys. Okay, so I have this lamp here and I actually thrifted, thrifted this lamp, um, I believe last year sometime or a year ago, I don't remember, but I thrifted it and it has like a, some like little indentation. Let me show you. If you can see it, like when you turn the lamp on, you see these little indentations and it looks like there it's dirty or anything like that, but it's not dirty. It's just, that's the way that I got it from the thrift store. Um, and so I just wanted to, to put some love to it. So, so I actually have this fabric. I actually have this fabric here that I purchased from Walmart and I love it because it ties into my decor. It's, it's a neutral pattern. Um, it has, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has like tan, a little bit of gray in here, some white and some black. Um, and those of you that know, y'all know I love me some neutrals. It is my signature. Um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and hopefully I can uh, glue. I'm going to be using some um, hot glue, you know, my glue gun. I haven't taken my glue gun out in like two years, y'all. I haven't done crafts in a long time. Um, but I am going to be adding some crafts here and there to my channel. Um, and this is just like the first start of it. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to put this on the lampshade and hopefully it works out. I'm not going to do like any designs, any pleats or anything like that. I don't want it to be too traditional. I definitely want to stay with the modern feel because my home itself is already colonial, traditional type, you know, aesthetic. So let's go ahead and get into this video. So I have, I'm sorry, you guys, I'm on my coffee table. <laughs> um, I don't have a craft room anymore, so please bear with me. But I'm just gonna go ahead and try to roll out. I have my scissors, have my glue gun, and I also have my glue sticks here. And the glue sticks that I'm using is the four inch by 27 inch, the 101 millimeter by 6.8 millimeter. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to just kind of roll. Maybe I should put this down on the floor. Give me one second. So I've rolled out my fabric and I have my shade and I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of just roll it out just so that I can, you know, size it out and see how much of the, the material I'm going to need for the shade itself. You also want to make sure that it's as straight as you can get it because you want the pattern to meet. So I'm going to go about here with this line. Right 
make sure you also have a sharp scissors and know how to cut in a straight line. Because <laughs> I, I always have a problem like cutting in a straight line for some reason. And my scissors are always dull, which is weird. So I'm going to measure it to about here because I kind of want to have as much lip as possible. Just sitting here bored at home And it really got me thinking of the times we took off on the road Okay, so I'm going to kind of start, I'm just going to start by gluing the edge here Got to load up <laughs> You know, you got to work quickly when it comes to the hot glue gun. And then I'm just going to kind of roll it on there. I just glued the edge and then I just kind of rolled it on there and just stuck it in. And so I'm just going to continue to do that. Just going to continue to roll it up, roll it in. Just like that. Kind of cut it where it meets the metal part and tuck it in. Just like that, and when you're done, you're basically gonna get a beautiful lampshade cover. Killing time, Friday night, found a photograph of us. So now that I did the top part, I'm just going to go ahead and start just gluing in the bottom part. And these are the fabrics. You can just go ahead and cut them off. And you just take it slowly. Just take it little by little. I'm trying to get you guys to see what I'm doing here. Um, so I'm just putting the glue on the fabric itself and then I'm just going ahead and gluing it all down. Without cares and worn out clothes doesn't seem so long ago. Now I'm just sitting here bored at home. And it really got me thinking of the times we took off on the road. And this is what it looks like, you guys. I think it looks so good. And once I paint my dresser, little console table is just going to look so beautiful. I love the way that it turned out. I love the fabric on it. It's just, oh my gosh, I just love it so much. It's a little bit off center, but you know, it adds character to it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on. And that's what it looks like on. I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like at night. It is so, so, so gorgeous. I love the way that it turns out. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. 
um, that I have for you today. I love the way that it turned out. I still have to tweak it a little bit and do some little, you know, fixings, but I just, I love the concept and I love the way that it turned out. So hopefully you guys did too. And I hope that you guys found some inspiration from this video and that you too can try, um, something like this. And if you are going to try this, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Remember that Jesus is Lord. He loves you and I love you too. I will see you next time. Bye. Time's roll by. Is it 12 years since last time? Where'd you go? What's the score? Did you find what you were looking for? I never see you in the